Hi, Virgo Summon Rising and Venus. This is what we got going on for October 25th, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgo's coming in with the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Somebody here has, like, they're, they're too confused. They're too... too they not only are they too confused, they don't even know what it is that they want. Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, they don't know who they want to be with. They don't know if they want to stay, come, go. They know that they made a really bad, they, they know that they made a really, really bad decision by getting too much into the fantasy world of the Seven of Cups. It doesn't obviously, nothing is permanent in the Seven of Cups. Like you got to be really mindful and careful with what it is that you're choosing, especially with people who are sipping from the same cups as each other nobody drinks from the same cups anymore ew who the hell does that grown-ass adults what are you doing you're, you're all drinking from the same cup it doesn't make sense none of it makes sense make it make, make it make sense nine of wands in reverse this person is trying to get fed up and tired of all the people that they're hanging out with and they want to move forward with their life but they're having definitely having a lot of troubles right now especially financially but if they were to look in the future and stop looking towards the past maybe they'd be able to wake up and keep an open mind that there's something much more beneficial coming in for them if they chose to look the other way but they don't want to look behind them they only want to keep looking in front of them which would be like the past and the pr present past so until this person realizes that it's time to wake up and look towards the future maybe then that ace of pentacles will actually come towards them but until then they're looking at that knight of wands i'm not sure why you're looking at a next person for it doesn't make sense why are you looking at other people for somebody here is always looking at people as if someone's going to bring you an opportunity yo what are you doing stay focused on the stay focused on your future like stay focused in front of you not behind you because behind you doesn't mean nothing for you anymore this person is definitely unhappy they're not happy anymore. They're the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not happy. They're sad. They're hurt. They're heartbroken. They can't stop thinking about you. They want to reach out to you so damn badly, Virgos. I can't even explain to you how badly they want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. They want to reach out to you. They want to speak to you. Uh, somebody here may have people around them that you may not have spoken to in a while, and they want to talk to you. Maybe it could be like a family situation with the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're saying that this person's really upset. They're hurt. They're heartbroken. They want to come back through. They want to talk to you, and... You know, especially for the ones who have like family problems, like for instance, like if you have kids and your your ex-wife isn't letting you see your kids, for example, it's like stuff like that. It's like the kid wants to see the dad, the kid wants to see the mom, like why are, are the parents isolating their like dividing the kids from the from the mom and the dad, you know what I mean? But it definitely is dysfunctional, especially when you don't consider uh, the child's feelings and don't support them or show them any love or affection, I'd be very mindful of that energy as well. So anyway, they are going to reach out to you and let you know that they do want to see you, they miss you, and they wish that their home was actually a home, they wish their family was actually a family, and that it wasn't so broken. That's what your kid is saying. That's what you're, That's how your kid is feeling right now, knowing that they don't have a functional home. Do better, Virgos. Parents, do better. Uh, but nonetheless, let's switch it up because I know it makes you guys very sad. <sighs> now, there could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who wants to come towards you guys, who's upset, hurt, and heartbroken over the betrayal that they have caused you. Not only did they cause themselves pain and heartbreak. Why am I shaking? Look at me shaking. Oh my God. Not only did they cause you guys pain and heartbreak, Virgos, but they also called, caused everybody else around them pain and heartbreak for the way that they treated you. Them going into the direction of the Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups it really wasn't doing anything for them. Their family members, their people on their side were hoping <laughs> that they were going to get something good in life, but then they ended up being like a sore loser. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you know, because that's not me. That's spirit. Spirit, stop. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> With the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups. So yeah, this, so this person's pretty upset. They're pretty angry with themselves too. It could be a Sagittarius, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it is somebody from the past who is very much so emotionally unbalanced. They're like not having. They're not able to heal at the moment. They're having a. T they're have. They're actually having a hard time healing with the Temperance card the five of cups and the six of cups they can't let you go they can't release you they're having a hard time healing the past they're pretty upset they're disappointed they are angry with themselves 
they're angry with themselves, they are sad, they're hurt, they're heartbroken, they're crying, they're s upset, they wish that they did better, they wish that they chose you, but instead, instead of them choosing you, they decided to go ahead and become manipulative and selfish and only think for themselves, and they chose to jump in the front row seat or the driver's seat or whatever and try and act like they have everything under control when they didn't have nothing under control at the end of the day, and they came up against somebody who's very loved, spiritual, intuitive, kind, caring, you know, but it is what it is. They did what they did, and you had to walk out of the way respectfully, and it is what it is. And you didn't appreciate it. This person may have thought that they got away with what they were doing behind your back. Maybe when they were like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go do this and I'm going to go do that. But it was at nighttime. So somebody likes to sneak out at nighttime to go link up with people. And you're like, yo, your intuition always told you. You're like, where, where are they? Like, something is wrong. Like, you probably even have to go sneak up on this person. <sighs> I can see you guys definitely doing that. Yeah, I see you guys freaking sneaking up on somebody and being like, yo, I freaking saw you through the window. You had that girl in your house. Like, what were you doing? Yeah, watch, it's gonna, you, I know how Virgos are, believe me you, a Virgo, when, when you're crazy in love, believe me, you're gonna go stop, <laughs> you're, you're gonna go stock up the place, and you're gonna act like it's not you, but it is you, <laughs> and it is what it is, I cannot say nothing, because when you're too much in love with somebody, and you find out they're cheating on you, it's like you need to see it with your own two eyes. Sometimes this shit happens, and it's true, you know? <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All I can say to you, Virgos, is please don't get caught. Don't go. Don't let these people call the jail mans on you or the bin, uh, the police mans on you. And But anyway, they're the problem, not you. <laughs> you yeah, believe me you, they're not the problem, they're the problem, because nobody who's normal would go out of their way to actually invite another woman or another man into the house that you always go into, you understand me? So it makes sense why you would want to sneak up a few times and just check up on Michael and fucking Steve a little bit here and there. So you guys may have found out about it with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. And you guys had found out that this person's in a relationship and they were sleeping with another woman or another man. And after you'd done your spying and your stalking, you started talking your shit and running your mouth and you decide to walk away. Boom. Done. You fuck you. Who the fuck do you think you are? You think, you think that you can do that to me and think that I'm not going to just, like, what did you think? You know what I mean? It's like this, like, straight up. And it's left you with so much stress, so much anxiety, so much stupid shit, you know? It's like if people really had the audacity to actually understand how you make people feel when you sit there and you want to cheat on them, when you're already so amazing yourself, it's like, well, what does she have that I don't have? Well, what does he have that I don't have? But no, but the audacity to sit there and have them in your home and you let your and you let this Virgo or whoever come and sneak up and they let you see them. Yeah, because your curtain was fucking sideways or whatever the fuck what and you got caught, yo. <laughs> you, got, you got caught, stupid. All right. So you can't play stupid games with a Virgo because a Virgo is like the FBI. That's exactly what the Virgo is. A Virgo is, in fact, the FBI. They will. They will. They got like 20 accounts. OK, it is what it is. With the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Swords, it left with you left with so much stress, so much burden, so much fear. Never wondering like if you were ever gonna be good enough to find somebody is very bad, Virgos. Don't ever allow someone else, some dusty ass man, to make you feel like this, or some dusty ass woman to make you feel like that. They're like that because they choose to be like that. But at least walk with integrity and have morals with the Eight of Cups. Go ahead, run your mouth, talk your shit, but then make a move and don't go back. All right, six of pentacles. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, you can't be in your feelings. Now go on, be in your feelings. Have your attitude for a second and then go, go on with your day. Six of pentacles in reverse. You know, I always got your back. I don't know if you guys got my back at all, but I don't think you do anyway. But I'll always have your back because I'm just loyal like that. 
but it's all good. I don't mind standing on my own. <laughs> Six of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant, and the Eight of Wands in reverse as well. Like, you guys probably haven't gotten into a relationship with anybody for a very long time. It's probably been some months now with the Eight of Wands in reverse. I don't see you guys even wanting anything to do with this person. Even if they were to come back towards you, I don't see them, I don't see you guys interacting with this person at all. Also, Virgos, that relationship that they had with the Queen of Wands, it's done and over with. And they didn't, their, their relationship didn't go anywhere because because that's their karma. Their karma would have been that, well, since you want to do, since you want to manipulate people, well, then your your ancestors came in and, and slapped this one across the face. Like, oh yeah, you think you can do that to our Virgo? Okay, well, we're going to show you. We're going to show you that when you end up with this Queen of Wands, it ain't going to be nothing here. I'm just going to sleep with each other and it's going to be emptiness, soulless, emotionless, dumb shit. And now they're going to come back to war. You decide to stand up for yourself and defend yourself. And now this person's stuck in judgment's being called. They're making a decision. What are they making a decision with? The fact that they want to come back towards you because they still have feelings for you. And they ended up getting themselves in some stupid shit with the four of swords. The star. They ended up losing. They lost. You know, even an Aquarius, a Capricorn, a, a Virgo, a Gemini. They lost. A Leo, a Taurus. They all lost. Everybody lost. They all lost. What did you think was going to happen? You thought that you were going to sit there and cheat on somebody and then you thought you were going to win a prize? Oh, you think th you think the universe is going to reward you for hurting and, and upsetting and heart breaking someone's heart? The world's not the universe is not going to reward reward you. It doesn't work like that. You may think you got rewarded because you may have ended up marrying them or long-term relationships, but believe me, in the long run, you weren't rewarded. You'll see it. Believe me, you you'll see it. <laughs> you got so much attitude, Virgos. Uh, with the star card in reverse, the devil card, this person was like, they even manipulate themselves. I don't even understand what was going on. So this somebody here is manipulating themselves into thinking that they're some something so special. I don't understand what they're thinking. They 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 they're very egotistical. They're very weak. They're man, they manipulate themselves. They know that they lost so much, but they still make themselves think that they can still have everything. Sun card. But you are the sun. So they're still thinking that they can come back towards you and still come and get you. And you're single. You're happy. You're healthy. You're go lucky. And it is what it is. And they're going to try and come back towards you guys. But you guys are stepping into your power with the king of wands now. And you don't even have any time to put yourselves in a relationship with someone who is so weak no you don't high priestess you're listening to your intuition and you're going silent i kept trying to clarify the high priestess they're not saying anything they said nothing they wouldn't let me get a card they i shuffled like three four times no card came through for the high priestess meaning that that's the unknown and that's going to be coming into the future meaning you're going to have no choice but to listen to your intuition that when this energy comes through this this prideful egotistical person who thinks that they can come back and get you at any given time because that's just how their pride is you're gonna stay silent you're not gonna say shit you're probably already sensing and feeling this person's energy before they're even coming towards you so that's gonna put you on guard as a high priestess and you're choosing yourself with the ace of cups five of pentacles you want nothing to do with it and they are all getting their karma for what for it that girl's getting her karma for it, the queen of wands he's getting his karma for it all because of what they did to you hermit card and nothing is going well in this person's life at all. They're not having justice. Everything is so unbalanced. Their emotions are unbalanced. Mental health. Everything is unbalanced. Libra energy on the heavy with the Queen of Swords to the Justice card. They're emotionally unbalanced, mentally unbalanced. They can't figure out from left and right. They don't know what's going on. They feel fucked up. Five of Pentacles upright. They thought that they won the prize. They thought that they won the prize by taking your man away from you. That's the thing. They thought that they won the prize when they tried to take your girl away from you. That's what they thought. They thought. And and they in the end, they realized that, you know what? The universe actually doesn't reward you for stealing someone else's man. Or for saying, ha ha, fuck you. I can take your man from you any given time and you don't know shit. The fuck out of here. That's some disrespectful shit. Like that's that. And then you wonder why you fucked up. What do you mean? That's like you sitting down with someone's man and be like, your girl's such an idiot. I can't believe that I can still sleep with you, you know? And then you send that man off back to his wife or back to his girls laughing. Like, ha ha, your girl's a fucking idiot. Or your, ha, your man's a fuck. Who the fuck are you? Stupid. Get the fuck out of here. So much attitude in this fucking reading. It's almost like you guys want to punch this person in the face, I swear. And you know what? I don't condone violence, Virgos, but 
you know what? They, this person's definitely getting their karma. They're getting murked for sure. They're getting fucked up. This person's pissed off. They're, they said ridicule. I'm not really sure. I'm obviously not a dictionary Virgo, <laughs> but they are just saying that this person, they, and they also are saying humiliating. This person's humiliating. This person's ri ridicule, whatever. This person's getting their karma. They feel sad. They feel lonely. What'd you think? You thought you can, you, you thought you can laugh at someone else's man or someone else's girl and then be like, haha, like your girl's stupid or haha, your man's stupid. And then you thought that you was going to win a prize. And then in the end, you're pissed off because you ain't shit. The fuck you mean? Five of Pentacles? Now you don't got nothing. Now you feel lonely. Now you don't feel all that great. Now you're pissed off. Now you're cussing. Now you're rude and you're disrespectful. You really thought that you were going to get wifed and you didn't, psych. And you didn't. And you didn't. And you didn't. And this person here, the one that you thought you was going to get wifed from or a husband from or whatever the fuck what, they ghosted you. They dipped. They dipped. So who's the fool then? You know what I mean? At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the world card. It's done. It's done. Don't think that's coming in back in for you. Whatever ha happened over here, that's your karma. For messing with someone's relationship, for messing with someone's family, for messing with someone's man, or laughing in someone's face, or thinking that you can take something from somebody. That's your karma. The, the universe were not, was not happy with, the, you, with, with what you did. And you thought you was going to get wifed up, ace of cups, and you didn't. <laughs> Yo, spirits got so much attitude because they don't like that you did that. They may not even really like you either because of the fact that maybe they told you like, yo, stop doing this type of stuff to people. It's going to eventually catch up with you. And if you keep going in on a situation with somebody like this, and if, you know... <laughs> If they're going to do it to their girl, why wouldn't they do it to you? What do you hold that's so much more better than his girl or his or her man? You got to remember, ain't nobody out here better than nobody. No loyal woman is going to be able to keep a man. No woman who holds down a bunch of money is going to be able to keep a man. The prettiest woman in the world is not going to be able to hold down a man. A traditional woman is not going to be able to hold down a man. A man is a man, and if he wants to hold down the home and hold down the wife, he will do that because he's a man. King of Swords. My stomach keeps rumbling. And I don't, I think you guys are just angry. <laughs> I think you guys, I think a lot of people are angry right now. And I think in the end, this Gemini Libra Aquarius can seriously just sit back and see that you guys, it's almost like, it's like, I told you so, I told you don't do that and you did it. And now you have the right to go walk away with your life with the three of wands. Why? Because when they come back and they want to talk to you, you're going to feel all proud and happy knowing that they came back to you and you're going to be like, yes, may I help you? You're coming back to me after what? You're like, well, I went through my breakup. I broke me and this person broke up with each other. And now I want to come back to you. And you're just like, yeah, you broke up with them. Nice, nice. And then the moment that you say that, you're like, well, have a good day. Ah, have a good day. Bye. And you fucking dip. And now what's happening? The roles have changed. Now the cycle comes back in and now they're chasing you. Now they're chasing you. And they can't take no for an answer. They can't take no for an answer. They got it. They have to run after you. That's what they want. They want to run after you, but the connection is done, dog. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yo. They're going to do everything they can. They maybe even want to try and get you pregnant and everything like that, Virgos. Yeah, this person's going to see if they can get with you so that way they can get you pregnant again. Again. That's weird. I don't know what happened, Virgos, but whatever it is, they want to try and get you pregnant and in the end, they want a reunion, they want to see you, and this person's going to be like, no, I changed, I'm a real man now, I'm a real woman now, now I can actually be in a relationship with you, now that I, I wasted so much time, and this Queen of Swords threatened to friggin' juk you up, <laughs> literally, she threatened you, I know she threatened you, she told you that if you don't stay with her, she's probably going to juk you up, like, I know, I know this Queen of Swords right here, this one right here, <laughs> because she thought she was going to get wifed and she didn't, psych. She thought that she was better than your girl or she thought or he thought he was better than your man or whoever it was that you freaking cheated on them with. They thought they was better. You had them you had their mind 
all the way from here all the way to the sky like the way that you somebody here gassed up or the way that this person here's mind thinks like to the point where they're all gassed up so the they're so high on love that they literally didn't even see it coming that they didn't even realize that somebody could potentially end up ghosting them they never thought they never thought they never thought, they never thought in the in their life that they would that would have ever happened to them. And it did. And now this person's like, I'm going to jick you up because you you said you were gonna be with me. It's okay. Yeah, and they did, and they did. And everyone's allowed to make their decisions and they're allowed to also change their mind too. And in the end they decide to ghost you. And you're not gonna get closure from it. Because the closure is is the fact that this person here, they're gonna do what they wanna do at any given time. If you wanna run around duck duck goose type of shit all right i guess you're a part of the duck duck goose shit then you know what i mean so <sighs> energy so attitude so bitchy uh empress knight of cups knight of coins and the emperor yeah virgo so this person wants to come towards you they've taken a while you guys seem to have leveled up obviously uh they don't want to let you go just yet they do obviously want to get you pregnant and want to be with you be careful that you guys may end up you guys may end up actually pregnant with this person uh, if you guys do anything with them. So wrap it up if you don't want it. With the Nine of Coins, you guys have leveled up a lot. Some of you guys are businessman, businesswoman, doing your thing. And a lot of you guys are just hustling and working at the end of the day. Eight of Pentacles. And when they contact you and reach out to you, you're going to be like, listen, I'm working. Like, I'm busy working until about 7, 8 o'clock. They're going to probably try and reach out to you around 4, maybe 12 o'clock too. Something about 12 o'clock, like noontime, they're going to try and contact you. And then during the, between, not, between 12 to four they're going to be like going back and forth sending you messages left right and center and then by the time seven o'clock comes by you're like you got like eight ten messages and you didn't respond back to not one of them because <laughs> you're too busy working and this person's pissed off they're they're pretty mad with the tent they're like mad they thought that they were going to be able to just send you messages and they thought that you were going to actually be able to pick up your phone and send them a message while you're at work ain't no way boy ain't no way you thought that what you thought that you're going to all of a sudden be more priority than work someone needs to get their money and what you did in the past was some stupid shit don't think you're going to come before this person's money because it's not going to happen look how many times this person messaged you virgos and you're looking at these messages like, look at the stupid shit in this basket. There's <laughs> nothing in this basket that you want to talk about. There's nothing in these seven of pentacles that you guys want to pick and put into the basket. You want to know why? Because you weren't putting any effort. Where did she come from? <laughs> Where did she come from? <laughs> Where did you come from, priestess? That's why they're saying, like, you're going to stay silent. I don't really believe that you guys are honestly going to even respond you're not gonna respond virgos it's the nine of swords i think it's going to torment this person because you really didn't respond four of cups you didn't say nothing this person sending you so many messages i can't even explain to you like you might be going back and forth like should i respond should i respond but then you're just like you know what fuck it i'm not gonna respond four of cups you're like you know what i was actually a lot more happier when you weren't in my life I healed myself, I took care of myself, I loved myself, I learned to nurture myself, I started eating healthier, better, exercising, feeling greater about myself. So you're going to block this person, four of pentacles, and then they're gonna. it's going to be a struggle for them to come back into your life. And then maybe they're going to try and argue with you, like because if they can argue with you, then they can get at least some sort of reaction out of you. But I think even if they try and say something to you, like, why aren't you, Miss bitch, what do you mean? You did what you did, and I ended up walking out of your life respectfully, and I did cuss you out. Page of swords in reverse. You cussed them out. <laughs> you, I know you did, Virgos. You cussed this effort out. You did. You cussed them out, and after you cussed them out, you closed that door, and you walked out of, your, out of their life. You, you saw what you needed to see, or you heard what you needed to hear, or you shit played out exactly how it was supposed to. And it is what it is. And they're going to try and come back and they're going to try and reach out to you again. And after when they realize that you're not responding back to them, they're going to try and fight with you. And even then, you're still not saying nothing. You look at the way you're looking at the four. Look at the way you're looking at them. Look at the way the four of pentacles is looking at the five of wands. You're like, are you sure you want to argue with me? You're sitting here arguing with me when I'm the one that carries the treasure. I carry everything. And you want to fight with me? Doesn't make sense. You're blocking them, Virgos. Stay ah, uh, fuck it, just block them, who cares, thanks cuties, bye.